Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS and 3 or less. Today I'm in the Harrier, showing how to use laser guided weapons alongside the laser spot tracker, and I'm using Carsten's Laser Anything script to designate my targets. This script can be enabled in the mission editor and it lets you quickly laser any unit on the map. You can use it to practice laser weapon delivery with planes like the Mirage 2000 or F5, which you can't self designate. And I'm sure that there are plenty of mission makers who will be able to put it to use in more interesting ways. I'm using the Harrier for this demo, but the Laser Anything script works in any plane that can drop laser guided weapons. A link and instructions to download the script are in the video description, and keybinds, as usual, are at the end of the video. Check for confirmation that the script has loaded correctly. We need to tell the JTAC which laser code to use. You can find that in the Harrier's knee board. Press F10 to open the mission map. Put down a marker point and give it the label code colon 1688, no spaces. Check the confirmation message. Click the group that you want to target to see its name. In this case, ground one. Add another marker point. These can be anywhere on the map, by the way. And label the marker point target colon ground one. Again, no spaces. And the group name is case sensitive and needs to be input exactly. Press F1 to come back to the plane. Master arm on. Air to ground mode. Bring up the stores page and select a laser guided weapon that you want to use. I'm going with the APKWS rockets for this tutorial. Press sensor select aft to cycle the DMT into laser spot track mode. You'll see the laser search spot sweeping across the HUD and the right hand screen. Set your preferred sweep angle. I like to have it quite narrow. This makes the laser concentrate on an area directly in front of the plane. Check that the laser code is the same as you had on the kneeboard and in the mission map. We've already set the JTAC's parameters, but he won't actually start lasing until we give him a radio call. Open the comms menu, select other, and then call JTAC. Lasing confirmed, spot tracker picks him up, and the TV camera follows suit. That's all automatic as soon as the plane sees the laser spot. We can adjust the brightness and contrast. And using the comms menu, the JTAC can cycle between units in the group, and the laser spot track will follow. To switch to targeting another group, you'll have to assign it in the F10 map like we did earlier. I'll take out a couple of these guys and then we'll show you how that works. The square shows where we've picked up the laser track. We'll put the target pipper over that and press the bomb pickle button. When the target's sufficiently damaged, the JTAC will automatically laser the next target in the group. If it's nearby, the spot track will pick it up straight away and you can go ahead and engage. To attack another group, pull up the F10 map and select that group. You're not paused in the map, so be careful. Select the marker point for the target and adjust it to match the group name that you want to go after. JTAC will confirm the new target and if he was already lathing, he'll lathe the new target straight away. We're going to call him and use JTAC options to get him to put some smoke on the target. Press the undesignate button to get the laser searching again. There's the target. When we get our nose on him, the laser will pick him up. Video feed comes back, let's go after him. Shoot off a couple of rockets. Since we're not lathing our own target, we can bug out at this point if we want to. I'm going to follow them in, however, so you can see the effect. There's the impact, and the JTAC's already got the next one lined up for us. A couple more rockets. Altitude, altitude. Took out the second target. Altitude, altitude. Bring it around, and we'll finish the job. As I come in for my final run, you'll see that the JTAC informs me when I've killed the entire group. At this point, I'll have altitude, to use the F10 altitude. map if I want to go after any new targets. Altitude, altitude. I've been Dan, and you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Please like and subscribe for more DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite movies. 